just wanted to share with you how I feel the Lord's calling going to Nepal this summer. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what did you just say? Nepal? Are you serious? Yeah, it's this. And what about Chad? You know that really hot guy that's been after you for like ever? Well, sister, you could just kiss dating goodbye because Chad will be gone when you get back from this summer. Jeanette, did you hear Victoria is leaving us for like the whole summer? Yeah, that means no lake, no beach, and no chance to chat. And you can be sure there won't be any hot jungle boys out there asking for your number. Oh, I know, right? Well, why are you going there? Who cares? She's totally bailing on us. And what kind of friend does that? Guys, don't you realize that this life is not about us? There are people over there who have so much less than us, and they're in desperate need of hope. And Every summer, I've just made plans for myself, but God has really taught me that I can make a difference, and I wasted too much time. Whatever! Have fun saving the world! That's a lost cause. Let's go. Um, okay. <laughs> like I was saying, I'm going to Nepal this summer on a mission. Hey, Victoria! Trip. What's We're up, Shorty? Doing... How's it going? Ministry! <laughs> <laughs> Dalton, um, how is it going? I haven't seen you since you graduated. Um, how was community college? Were you majoring in something to do with clubs? Oh yeah, and to entomology. Yeah, that's what I was into. I tried that for the first year, but then I met these guys and we put together this killer rock band. We called ourselves the Boys Backstreet. <laughs> we went out on the road and things were going good, but me and the guys ended up going our separate ways. Oh, really? What happened? Well, I realized I was just way too good for those guys. And now I'm pursuing my own solo gig. I'm a rapper now. Watch out, M&Ms. Here, let me give you a little intro. Kick me a fat beat. What? Yeah, never mind. I'm a P-O-E-T poet. Take out the T for a D, shake it up. Man, it's dope, kid. Ball in. What do you think? Impressive. How's that going? Well, actually, I've been so busy working in sales that I haven't really had time to pursue music. Sales? Yeah, sales. Selling what? See, it's like, well, I was going door to door, and, well, anyway, I moved on from that because management was kind of restructuring the company, and it was a promotion the way I look at yeah. it. I got fired. <laughs> so... Are you still working at Starbucks? Yes, and actually, I'm getting ready to go on a mission trip to the whoa, mall this whoa, whoa. summer. A mission trip? Why would you want to do that? Well, it, and I thought you just <laughs> bought a car. Yeah. How will you make payments if you don't work this summer? Well, I'm and don't to... you have a cell phone? Yeah. How will you pay for that? Well, <laughs> and how are you going to get a plane ticket to Nepal? Isn't that like five thousand G's or something? Even a player like me can't get a hold of that kind of cash. Well. I've been working a lot, and I've been doing everything I can to raise this money. And there are people at my church who believe in what I'm doing, and they're willing to support me. I'm trusting that God will provide. It's hard to trust sometimes, but Jesus himself said that if we put him first, he'll take care of our needs. And besides, money is not the most important thing in life. Dude, whatever. It's your life, not mine. What kind of difference could you make anyway? Maybe you'll quit trying to be the next Mother Teresa after you get back from your summer and can't find another job and have to sell your car and give up your cell phone. Maybe then you'll wake up from your little dream world and get in touch with reality. Just don't say it and try to tell you. So, later. Oh, okay, uh, like I was saying earlier, I'm going to Nepal on a hey, mission. Hey, so, I was standing in the back listening to what you're saying, but I still don't understand. What do you mean? Well, you're outgoing, and you're popular, and you're obviously good at speaking in front of people. So, I can see how you can make a difference, but I'm just not that way. I mean, I want to help people, but I don't know how to. Plus, I don't have money to go on a mission trip. So what do people like me do? Well, I haven't always felt like I could do it either. I mean, for most of my life, I just did what everyone else did, and I went to church because I felt like I had to. But it really started to change me. One night at youth group when our youth pastor challenged us to really step out in faith and do something bigger than ourselves for God. And so I went to my best friend and I told her about Jesus Christ, even though I was so scared she'd reject me. But she was totally cool about it. Since then, it's just gotten easier to trust God and rely on Him. Wow, you've really given me a lot to think about. Yeah, it's exciting when we stop and consider all the things that God can use us for. You know, 
I never thought I'd be saying this, but I'm actually interested in going on that Nepal trip and what it'd be like to go with you. That's great. Well, I've got to get going, but let's meet up later to talk about it, okay? Okay.